Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're going to discuss data visualization and really centered around the scatter plot. The goal will be to illustrate how we can tell compelling data stories using the scatter plot. And over the course of this video, we will go from a very simple scatter plot that is not very insightful to one that has just the right amount of detail to help key stakeholders and even ourselves understand what the data is telling us. Let's get started. Okay, so in this in this example, we have 50,000 rows, two variables, and we're going to quickly construct a data frame from this data set. If we look at the head and to illustrate the first five rows, you see we have two measurements, measurement one and measurement two, and then some target column, which will tell us the class of each of these samples. If we begin with the illustration with a simple plotly scatter plot where x equals m1, y equals m2, um, you see that this data isn't that informative. We just have a big blob in the center of our of our figure, and this doesn't really help us to see what patterns that might exist. And so if we take advantage of our target column and we encode color equals target, you see that we get a little bit closer. Now we see we at least have, we clearly have two blobs of data. We have this red blob and we have this blue blob, but because they're so overlapped, we don't really get a good sense of the pattern or the distribution of this blue center there. So let's elevate this figure a little bit more and start to really get to the benefits of using a language that's really flexible. So instead of just encoding color, let's also add opacity to our figure and we'll set the opacity to 0.05 and now we can start to see that uh, we have some decent overlap and because of the the low opacity we can see where the, the the major density of points lie in these two distributions and where they overlap given the the faintness of those signals now we can do even more to to help us see this distribution particularly along this m2 uh, y-axis and so let's let's add a marginal Y and let's just make it a histogram so we can get a, a clearer sense of the distribution and, and you could see here we do have some overlap at about 25 to 30 percent um, but two Gaussian distributions for our red sample and our blue sample so this figure are right between these two can really tell us some story that's more insightful from where we began with these two um, dense blobs there Okay, so if we, if we push a little bit further and um, let's, let's modify this even more. So we have 50,000 samples in our data set. We don't need to illustrate all of them. And so if we use this df.sample method. And let's say we only want to take a thousand sample, um, sample of thousand rows from our data set. Let's remove the opacity. Just comment that out. Um, and we'll keep that. And you can see even by removing most of the samples, this gives us more information than those two blobs that we can't see. Uh, if we add in our marginal Y axis and we add the histogram back, you can see we still have our Gaussian distributions. And of course we can, we can increase this if we want. Um, to the point where, where we now just sort of factor in some of the other components that we built in over time. One of the other things we can add, so if we copy this down, we can make a contour plot relatively easily. So if we change this to density contour, we will, let's just give it our marginal, let's give it the opacity and kind of go back to where we began. So we're plotting the full data set again. Um, these contour lines also give us a nice clear illustration of where the major density of these points are. So the center of the distribution would be in the center of these two um, concentric circle regions. And then we can see the extent to which they overlap, which is congruent with the scatter plot that we illustrated above. So again, this is another way to sort of abstract the pattern of the data without showing each individual point. And lastly, we can also illustrate this with a heat map. So we just do density heat map. We pass our data frame. We pass in x equals m1, y equals m2. 
and we also see we have our circles there. In this case, you could you can adjust the color scale. I won't in this video um, to to add more contrast between these two. But even then, you can see we have two globs of data. We have some overlap in this region, and this just gives us another view of the data without having to show those dense plots. And so in this video, I wanted to help motivate you to, to go beyond the simple scatter plot and see what other factors you can encode to help tell a more compelling data story. If you found this video helpful, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.